topics are a targeting option in Google ads available for display and video campaigns. And we typically recommend using them if you really want to cast a wide net, have a high level broad reach of a target audience. Topics have been around for a while and we haven't created a video on it because typically they've been straightforward. But over the past few years, there's been lots of changes to topic targeting and how they work, and they're not as specific as they used to be. Surprised, right? So in this video, we'll cover all the ins and outs on topics to see if they're going to be a good fit for your display and video campaigns. There are a few places I could start with this video, but I think it's important to know first what options you get for topic targeting to even see if it's something that you're interested in. So for now, I'm just going to open up our draft campaigns, all the stuff that we've used for previous videos and just choose one of the display options. All right, so far going through a basic display setup, I'm gonna skip everything and just go straight to targeting. So for a previous video where you're looking at audience segments, let me clear this out. I'm gonna mark that as done, but within your ad group, you would most likely look to add targeting. And here we see the options for topics. If I move up so I can scroll down a little bit, here we start to see the options. And if we look at this little scroll bar, it means we don't have that much room to go down. And as I said in the intro, topics are higher level targeting options. You are looking to expand reach, so it's not going to get super specific. But there we see arts and entertainment, auto topics, beauty and fitness, books and literature. I'm not going to read every single one of these. Food and drinks, gaming, health, jobs and education, news, There's stuff for pets, real estate, science, sports, and a couple others. Now within each topic, you notice the arrow next to them because each topic can be broken down into more specific subtopics. And even within the subtopics, you see some can break down even further, while others, like this one, college sports, that's as deep as it goes. Let me see if I can get something more specific. I'll choose extreme sports. And then let me look at one more option, individual sports. And even there, it keeps breaking further with racket sports and running and walking. Now, just on this view here, when you're looking at which topics you may want to add to your ad groups, there are several things you should keep in mind. First, I'm highlighting this section here, right above the blue menu bar. Your topics will land on website pages, mobile apps, and videos, whether it's on YouTube or the YouTube Partner Network, that are about the topics that you're selecting. Now, there are ways to control this. Like for many of my display and video campaigns, I turn off mobile app placements. So yes, if you're excluding, let's say, a particular mobile category, then no your ads still won't show up on there. But there have been certain changes recently, which we will get to, where you may not have as much control anymore about where you think your ads are gonna be shown. All right, we'll get to that one soon. The second thing that you should definitely be aware of, and always consider this when selecting your targeting options, is that you do have the option, if I go back up to the main topic of sports, if I select them all, while it doesn't highlight everything here, choosing this option will automatically include every other subtopic and all the deeper subtopics within the main topic. That seems pretty self-explanatory, correct? However, if you do the flip side and you're doing what I'm doing here, scrolling down and selecting every single subtopic that is available underneath the main topic, choosing every subtopic does not guarantee that you will get everything under the main topic category. Subtopics are just content categories that Google Ads has deemed worthy enough to have its own mini category. All the subtopics combined do not equal the number of content placements you can get under the main topic. I'm trying to think if I can find an example. I know there was one with racket sports, right? There we go. They just have tennis. Well, lately I'm seeing news articles, videos, TV events of pickleball everywhere. I see something about pickleball every week now. However, from what I'm seeing, it's not listed as a sport that we can topic target on Google ads. So if you have a product that reaches all sports categories, you'd still want to select the main overall one and not choose every single subcategory. But another twist again, if you want better reporting about how each of these different topic categories break out and how they perform when you're reviewing your metrics, you can still add all of them individually. Just make sure that you still also add the main topic. And of course, as we start adding actual targeting options to our ad group, Google's going to assume that we want optimized targeting on. If you're not familiar with optimized targeting, highly recommend that you watch this video that we've already made right here. But for now, I will start by turning this off. Topic targeting is already pretty broad. So start with turning optimized targeting off. And then for whatever reason, if you really need to expand reach even further, 
then maybe you might want to consider adding optimized targeting. That's a whole nother story. So let's just keep moving with topic targeting. Okay, last thing I want to talk about when you're considering using topic targeting and reviewing your options of what you want to include within your ad group. Let's say I choose all of these options. Cool, they work great. But you may be considering adding different targeting options to your ad group alongside topics. And we have those options. There's display and video keywords as well as placements. If I choose to add keywords and I'm adding it as content, I'll choose done. So now we have multiple content targeting options within this ad group. Whether you're running display or video, keep in mind when you add multiple content targeting options, Google looks at it from an or point of view, meaning show my display or video ads to content related to pickleball, or you can also show my ads to anyone who falls under these topics I have selected. You're not combining these together. So if your ads in your landing page speak to a more specific topic, let's say my display creative just shows people playing baseball and basketball, I'd probably want to change my targeting options to better speak to those users and then create different ad creative that'll better speak to the targets I'm trying to reach. Or maybe you feel like your landing page will be better if you break out your targeting options in certain ways. That's totally up for you to decide depending on what your goals are and possibly what type of assets you have to even use for your campaigns. All right, but I'm going to go quick, finish this draft, and then head back to the main campaign view. So let's jump ahead. I published the draft. There we see I renamed it Topic Targeting Demo just for this video. After your campaign has launched, it's run for a little bit, and you want to check out stats, Topic Targeting will live in this content section within your navigation. There we see Topics alongside the other two content targeting options for display and video campaigns. So if we click on Topics, there we see the main sports topic. Let me expand this out, as well as the subtopics I have selected. So remember when I said you may want to choose them separately so you can see better reporting breakdowns? Well, this is exactly why. If I just chose sports, I wouldn't see all of these other options to really understand what type of sports topic is really performing within the campaign or possibly not performing and not topic related. There we see the one keyword I have selected. So then I may possibly see, oh, this keyword targeting option is really hurting overall performance. Maybe I want to remove it from the campaign. You can do the same thing with topics. Select whichever options you want to remove. You can go up to edit, and then you could choose to pause the option or remove it from your ad group targeting. This particular display campaign that I launched was using automated bidding, so we can't add any bid adjustments here for the topics. However, in manual bid display and video campaigns, you still can make those bid adjustments. Maybe for whatever reason, you want to exclude certain topics from display and video campaigns. Still within the content section, just a few options down, we do see exclusions. So if you haven't done so yet, you can click this blue button, choose if you want to add it from the campaign or ad group level. Remember, all my targeting options were sports related. So maybe I'm thinking, hmm, a lot of athletes write books. There's a lot of sports magazines. Maybe I don't want to show up there. Maybe I'm trying to sell an actual sports product. Going down a little bit, maybe there's some health ones that are a little too generic that you could see from a broad related standpoint could be tied into sports. Maybe choose some of those. Sports news. If I'm trying to sell something, people are fans of sports that don't like to play sports. So maybe I want to block it out on news. Who cares about the trade stuff? I'm trying to sell product. You get the idea. And then you could save it here and see how it impacts performance. But understand with really broad related targeting categories, there's a great chance that users can fall into multiple categories. Something that you may have to play around with a little bit. But if budgets are small, I definitely agree with the tactic of trying to start as specific as possible first. Now there's one more thing I do want to talk about with topic targeting. And this one is specifically for video campaigns. So let me pop open another tab. And in this tab, we're gonna start creating a new video campaign. Click on new campaign. Now I'm particularly going to talk about anyone who's interested in running a video campaign with the campaign objective of sales, leads, or website traffic. These three are called video action campaigns. Okay, so again, sales, leads, and website traffic. For now, I just chose website traffic, choose your campaign conversions, and continue. Again, I said this is just for video campaigns, so we'll choose that as our campaign type, and then click continue. I'm skipping everything again and going straight to the targeting options. So let's head to the ad group, and when we start to choose our targeting options, I see audience. Let me choose advanced settings. There we see content. But what's this warning? We can no longer add content targeting to video campaigns that drive conversions, AKA your video action campaigns. And topic targeting 
is a content categorized option. So for video campaigns, if you want to use topic targeting, you're gonna have to select a different campaign objective, like brand awareness, product consideration, or just create a campaign without a goals guidance. Now this one I completely understand, because I've said several times in this video that topic targeting is very high level. It's broad. You're trying to expand your reach. So using topic targeting when the targeting is an either or functionality doesn't really make sense for conversion focused campaigns. I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew that if you were considering using topics for certain campaigns. I do talk about this a little bit more in depth in our placement targeting video. and You can watch that video right here. But also you can see in the blue box if you did have topic targeting within any of those campaign objectives in an old one that you still have running, check your targeting options again. There's a chance that they've been automatically removed from the campaign, so make sure performance hasn't been affected too much. But I really hope you've been checking on your campaigns much more frequently than that. And that is the main bulk of how topics work within Google Ads. The functionality and control on how they've worked has definitely changed over the past few years. And while Topics has always been a broader targeting option within Google, advertisers now have even less control on how they can use Topics within a Google Ads display or video campaign. And that shouldn't be a shocker with the way that we've seen Google make changes over the past couple of years. If you have any other questions on how to utilize Topics within your campaigns, or if you've run in any setbacks while using Topics, leave your comment in this video and hopefully someone from the PBC community can get back to you. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button.